come on. Getting back to fitness, getting back in shape. Let's give it a bit of effort on the last one. Good morning, or maybe good afternoon, or maybe even a good evening to you. Maybe even happy birthday, maybe it's your birthday. Crikey, where are we going? This video is starting well. But anyway, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just here with Sarah because she's dropping Hello. off some parcels um, into the post office just behind us here. And yeah, I've stopped because I've run out of orange juice. So need to head in to the store to pick up some orange juice because today we're gonna to be heading out, uh, just slightly out of London. We'll go there in a minute, we'll have a look. It's really nice because we've got a session to do. Yeah, see in a sec. We've got a session to do which is gonna be really, really fun. Take you guys through it, take you through a little bit more in depth of what we're doing, how we're warming up for these things, all the drills and stuff like that. And then, because London today is roasting hot. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, some tips about running in the heat to finish it off. So yeah, a fun, action-packed video coming up, guys. Sit back, relax, and we'll see you out by the river in a bit. Right guys, so nearly ready to get going with the session, but first we've got to get warmed up properly. So when you get to my grand old age, and Sarah's as well, as she's Hi. just turned 30, happy birthday to Sarah. Um, yeah, it's really, really important. Well, whatever age you are, it's really important to get warmed up properly, let's be honest. So for me, I tend to do around about 800 meters of just jog, really, really, really super easy. It's not even part of my warm up for the run it's just part of my warm up to do the uh, uh all the drills we're gonna be doing so yeah very very short little run and then start out usually just some basic things like opening and closing the gate um, i'll put these up on the screen now so that's sort of opening the gate like that and then closing the gate just opposite like that really sort of get those hips nice and open up and get going and then we're going to be doing some what I just call sort of leg swings so finding some some sort of post or something to lean on a little bit you don't have to and just sort of swinging forwards and backwards and then you can do the other way sort of across again just getting all those leg muscles nicely warmed up start nice and slow and then just sort of build into it and then I normally move on to doing some high knees and butt kicks. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory high knees, just driving the knees up like that. Again, you can start nice and low, just as you're building into it, and then nice and high. And you, you get a little bit out of breath doing that, but really, really good. And then you can do some, some butt kicks, just getting the ankle into the bum. Not like trying to flicking right up here, but just dro driving up and down, just like that. And then once I've done those, move on to some karaoke style things. So really, really popular with um, with footballers. I'll try and give, give a little bit of a go here, but forwards and backwards like that. I try not to get run over by the cyclist. I'll put a better version of that up on the screen now. And then I'm going to be going into um, a little bit more of a warm up and then some strides as well. Strides, we talk about all the time. Really, really good thing to be doing around about 20 seconds. 100 meters, something like that, of really, really fast running, about 95% effort. Right guys, warm up, done, <laughs> jumping over the fence. Uh, yeah, just now gonna change my shoes. A little bit of people think, why do you change your shoes or do you warm up in different shoes? It's all up here, it's a mindset thing. Put your good shoes on, lace them up before you go. It's business time, it's time to get it done. Right guys, so it's time to get this session under the way. So the first thing is 2K easy pace. So for me, that's going to be probably going to be around just five minute Ks, about eight minute miling. So I'm going to get stuck into that now. For all the people that are, Sarah Nat is currently filming on uh, the DJI Osmo. And this here is the GoPro. So we'll have a chat on the GoPro yeah, all about the session today. So I'm going to get started. Let's start the watch, 2K warm up. Let's go. Yeah, so guys, uh, yeah. The session today inspired by one of my favorite runners out there, a guy called uh, Julian Spence, AKA Moose, AKA the wise man, a uh, great uh, Australian runner, 214 guy, um, and one of the co-hosts of the Inside Running Podcast. So this is his singlet for, from uh, the running company in Ballarat where he lives. So did he come up with this session? I don't know who came up with this session, 
but uh, it's called a moose fart neck, so we'll give it to you, Julian. Uh, yeah, so basically, yeah, obviously we're doing this warm up now, not part, of, not really part of the session, but it's 1k, um, sort of hard ish. So normally I'd do that around about between 5 and 10k pace, um, but it's so hot today 33 degrees currently, that's got to be in the 90s Fahrenheit. So I'm going to drop that down to 10k pace. So that's like current 10k pace. So we did 348 kilometer pace a couple of weeks ago. So we'll, we'll make that 345s today. So a K in 345s, 60 seconds recovery, walk, 60 seconds, absolutely gunning it. Like you're late for the bus and you can see him just pulling in. So yeah, like 90% effort and then 60 seconds recovery. And we do that four times. Yeah, I'll probably normally do it five five times, but it's first session back. First session in months and months and months after the break. Right guys, just coming to the end of the warm-up. It is roasting, if I haven't said before. I feel like Marge Simpson under here with the amount of hair that I've currently got keeping my head. I feel like a jacket potato. Oh, there's a bike coming past. Right, hang on. First K. Just, can I just point out, bang on five minute pace for that warm up. That was nice. Right, the guy was ticking. Let's go. Done there. Oh, you down this. That's right. Yeah, nice and easy. 3:42 for the first rep. So nice. Now you can just have a little walk around for a minute, taking the glorious day. Guys, one minute hard. again. I'll put it up on the screen how fast that was, no idea. Right guys, rep number two, let's go! Come on Sam! And I go! Sarah's falling off. What? It's hard. Feels no, good. 60 seconds. Recovery. Your form's looking so much better. These one minute reps are a lot harder than you think they're going to be. But still, three sets down, last set to go. Working hard, guys. Come on, getting back to fitness, getting back in shape. Let's give it a bit of effort on the last one. Three 
a bit fast. Feeling all right. Right, one minute of work to do, and then we can check. Fourteen pace on that one. Whew. Really enjoyed that session, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Follow along. Feeling pretty good. Not gonna lie, that felt nice. I left my heart rate monitor at home, so no idea what sort of heart rate we're doing. Doesn't matter. Just out here running on feel and getting it done. So let me know. You guys gonna give that session a go? What is your favourite session to get done? between these times or we're having some fun running at different paces and just having a laugh well guys just a little quick thank you to this one here oh, oh, for, you're sweaty. Oh, oh, sweaty <laughs> for filming uh, sarah's gonna go on a run so go on Bye. go she's gonna go and enjoy the sunshine and yeah so let's head down to the water's edge sarah keeps laughing because she keeps saying water's edge is that funny i know and uh, yeah, yeah. So anyway, let's have a chat about running in the heat. We're just going to skip through these uh, with a little bit of detail, but um, I will do a more dedicated video about running in the heat coming up. So pen and paper ready, let's go. So yeah, first thing, as you've just seen today, running by sort of more by feel or just adjusting your pace. Yeah, I could be running my 10K pace. would be a little bit faster than we're doing today, but just dialed it back a little bit. So yeah, run or feel, or just adjust your paces at that. Just dial them back a little bit. Nobody can perform once it gets, nobody can perform exactly the same way. I'm not sure the exact like drop-offs, I'll put a link to an article down below so you can kind of work it out a little bit more if you want to deep, deep, have a deep dive into the science. It's a really good idea to take some electrolytes in, especially you sweat a lot, a lot of salt comes out. So have some electrolytes. Uh, science and sport do some really good ones. You can just drop in your drink, those effer, effer Effores, what am I trying to say? I don't know. Um, once you can put in your drink, they're really good. Or another brand to look at, Precision Hydration, do some really good stuff for running in the heat. Try out some of their stuff. Yeah, really good. So yeah, check those out. Just have those like an hour or two hours before you go out. Get nice and hydrated. With hydration, don't go downing pints and pints or liters and liters of water. Just drink to thirst. If you're thirsty, have a drink, as you might have seen today. Um, just had a couple of sips. Um, of uh, just orange juice and water, which is what I really like when I was out on the run. Yeah, just drink when you're thirsty, have something to drink. If you just feel fine, then crack on. Heading out early in the morning, if you can, will be the coolest part of the day. I'm actually training as somebody that's out in Dubai at the moment. And yeah, it's up around 40, 45 degrees. He goes out about 4.30 every morning, which is the coolest part of the day, wherever you kind of are in the world. Got the option to like run in parks and things, or run on grass, run on trails under the trees and things, that's gonna be a lot better. Not very good today, running on tarmac and asphalt, it reflects the heat quite a lot. And yeah, it can just get a little bit hot. Technical clothing, again, if you've got something that's nicely and nice and breathable, and yeah, size up if you can. Something that's a little bit baggier, it's gonna blow around in the wind a little bit more, it's gonna get the sweat sort of off your body a little bit better. As you saw at the start of the video today, sun cream, again, really good idea. I use this, I'll put the stuff that I use up on the screen now, um, yeah, highest factor as you can. If you are worried about running out of liquids and things, then take a pack with you. The packs we use are from Salomon. They work really, really well. Or just a handheld uh, running flask. Again, I'll link some of these things down below. Or how I've got with my naked band. Really good, just be putting a little bit of like, one of those sort of soft flasks in there. And you're not gonna get caught short. But yeah, don't be afraid. Just stop at a shop, take your bank card with you, take your phone with you contactless whatever don't go out without some form of paying for something just in case you do get a little bit short and you need to dive into a shop and finally the last sort of couple of little bits and pieces yeah don't be afraid if it is too hot outside just go out on the treadmill go out go in on the treadmill inside in the gym we can't really do that at the moment with the whole coronavirus thing but yeah in the future it'll be fine to get back on the treadmill running air conditioning yeah it's not much fun sometimes but we've got to do it and finally you know what i'm going to say guys a hat! I always wear mine backwards, but yeah, if it is really, really hot, then for, whoa, it's windy here. Can go forwards as well. Just keep that sun out your face or, or just, uh, yeah, sun off the back of your neck, depending on which way the sun's going. Works really well, really breathable. 
these hats are fantastic. As you guys know how much I love these things. It's been a labor of love creating the best running hat in the business. So thank right, you. so that's it. That's a wrap, guys. We're back in the car. Sarah's here. Hello. How was your run, Sarah? It was nice, but a bit warm. Nice, but a bit warm. The ice cream van. Can you hear the ice cream van? I don't think they've got any vegan ice cream. We're going to get some vegan magnums. We're off to Morrison's to uh, stock up on some food, which is just around the corner. Take advantage of coming out here. So as usual, guys, thank you very much for following along. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you've got any questions, any comments, anything you want to say, let us know down below. And me and Sarah, also, we'll get back to you. Whew, it's oh, racing in the car. Like oven. Good oven in here. Yeah. And yeah, guys, thank you for all the support with the hats, the buffs, the hoodies. Sarah, how many hoodies did you post this morning? Four. Four hoodies. Who's buying hoodies? It's, it's so over hot. 30 degrees. Thank you, guys. I'm not complaining. Oh, God. You can see his head's running out. Let's get the AC on. And look at my hands. Sarah is sweating away. Right. We're rambling too much. Guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A billion times over. We're off to Karen working hard. Check out Sarah's YouTube channel. Aww, Just called Sarah Place, I think. Yeah. Yeah. How many subscribers, Sarah? Over 5k subs. Crazy. Crazy. Must be something good on there. Right, guys. I'll see you in the next one.